after a while it kind of gets to you, especially if you don't drink and do drugs and stuff. That's why so many people in this industry drink and do drugs. All right, folks, good morning. Um, I'm on one of the highest peaks here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uh, we got a pretty dangerous situation ahead of us. We got two hickory trees that are tied up together. We've had one over here across the driveway that's been wind thrown, leaning over the driveway and it's caught up in another one. Now the skilled and experienced sawyers know that hickory trees are notorious for barber chairing. Um, they'll barber chair on you standing straight up. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, the approach I'm gonna take I've got a half inch link grade 100 chain that I'm gonna wrap around the butt of this hickory tree that's carrying the weight. If you look up there, which I'll, I'll pan back and show you, there's a lot of pressure on this hickory tree. Um, but I'm gonna wrap that with the chain. I may even throw some ratchet straps too. I don't want any fiber separation or I wanna minimize the fiber separation on that butt as I'm taking this tree down. Um, I'm hoping with the chain and the ratchet strap that'll control it. I'm gonna be limited on what kind of notch that I can cut on this tree due to the pressure um, on the leaning side. I may try to do a shallow notch. I've got a new chain on the Echo CS620. Um, I'll try to do a shallow notch and from a distance, I'm gonna start doing a back cut at the first sign that that tree is going down, I'm getting out of here, which shouldn't be too awfully hard because this slope is pretty, uh, not too steep, but it's steep enough that on an icy day, you would dance a lot. Um, yeah, let me pan back and show you all what's going on here. So if you see right in here in this region of this hickory, we've got a lot of pressure built up right there. Now I'm going to come in, I'm going to cut at a more comfortable height, a little above my waist. I don't want to be down at the ground because down at the ground when I need to run, I have to stand up first. I'm going to cut about waist high, that way as I cut, that thing starts to go, I can get out of there. But anyway, let me, uh, let me get off of here. Well, I'll shoot some footage of wrapping the chain because that chain weighs, a, it's outrageous. All right, this is gonna be fun here. Just to show you the caliber of this chain, if I'm not mistaken, well, I can't remember how much it weighs altogether, too much. Just dealing with the chain. Another thing that makes this job complicated, one time this tree was struck by lightning. So we probably have some fiber damage, structural issues from that. After I get this on the ground, which dropping this one should bring this one down. We've got a 
dying oak tree will be dropping too that uh, got hit by lightning. Up here on this high peak, there's a lot of trees that are impacted by lightning and wind. A lot of exposure. So I'm going to finalize this, get it wrapped a little bit better, and then uh, we'll get it on the on the ground. Uh, to all those that prayed for me, I did a post on Facebook asking people if they could pray for me. I appreciate it. Most people, when they go out and do the job, they don't have to worry about, well, everybody, you never know if you're going to make it home or not, but when you're dealing with situations like this, you're, you're exposed to a lot more danger. After a while, it kind of gets to you, especially if you don't drink and do drugs and stuff. That's why so many people in this industry drink and do drugs. So, all right, let me get this finalized and we'll get it on the ground. Folks, I wasn't expecting that. Um, ended up having to go to the butt of the wind thrown hickory and release it. We ended up, I'm thinking other than the hickory it was in, some of the canopy was in an ash tree as well. That's what came down after the tree drop was the top of that ash tree. That's a good, uh, Good reason you never want to hang out near the this situation especially because you've got a tree that's going to be coming your way but that's the kind of stuff that can happen when you drop a tree that in the process of it going down it gets caught up in the uh, canopy of the surrounding trees and it'll break them out that would have killed me right there even with a hard hat it would have broke my neck and killed me so I'm going to take a water break, let everybody know I'm safe, and uh, start figuring out how I want to handle the trunk of the hickory because it's going to want to run downhill, and I don't want to take out the shrub or any of the fruit trees. I think what I might do, 
Just hook the 250 to the butt end of the log. And just pull it downhill. I'll end up messing up some of the landscape rocks, but I can put those back. And leave this end caught on the, tur on the uh, tur stop of the hickory that it ended up falling into. That way we can maybe just bring it around. And once we get to the point we're down here a good bit and it'll roll this way. I'll try to get my rope out. That's going to be the only thing. Just trying to contend with that rope, but I can always cut a chunk off and maybe it'll be off the ground where I don't have to worry about dulling the chain. But I'm going to shut up and touch base with everybody and get back to it. Folks, don't let your ropes milk out like that. I call that the coon pecker. Them guys at Samson are gonna get mad at me for letting my rope. This is just a section. I try not to really use it for dropping trees. I use it more for stuff like this. Just needing to tug on it and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do here is a bowling or bowline on a bot. The hardest part for me is trying to figure out whereabouts I need to be to give me enough slack to reach my, I can always back up some more. Back up. Really would have been nice if I would have thought to bring the DM in. Ah, man, I tell you, my ankle goes. I'm gonna have to do some physical therapy. The DMM impact block. Um, I could have hooked it to one of these trees over here and got more of a direct pull. What may happen here, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the stump as I pull. Um, watch this, I don't want it to break away from me. I don't think it's gonna damage the truck, but I wanna try to preserve their shrubs. <coughs> Started getting up against this shrub. Let me see if I can. Stock this.
All right, let me see if I can make some cuts where we can roll this log off the driveway here. All right, last tree of the day, this declining chestnut oak got struck by lightning. When you look close, you can see some fiber separation. And you really never know how, how deep that goes sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one with the chain too, I won't record it because it looks pathetic me doing it and I'm about to run out of battery. All right, I got it wrapped. We're gonna try to drop it, keep it off the driveway, minimize the cleanup work. I get up here and get her done. Right, there it is. Let me go get my chain out. <laughs> 